Hey guys, you guys wanted to see a coffee time with Cobra and because I asked you guys during the live stream last night what um, content you want to see more of and you guys said coffee time with Cobra please be right coffee time with Cobra, coffee time with Cobra, coffee time with Cobra I'm not even joking, it was like spammed in the chat so you guys wanted to see, here it is a coffee time with Cobra 2023 uh, <laughs> I don't know what you want me to talk about. I have no idea what you want me to talk about, so I'm just going to pick a couple of topics at random. Um, like, um, oh, that's good. You know, I'll talk about life differences between the US and the UK. Now, there's tons of channels out there that. Uh, are Americans living in the UK or Brits living in America and telling you their differences but you guys have known me, my viewers know me so I'm going to tell you the second I got back home, I'm not even joking, the second I landed here in the UK the first thing I wanted to do was turn right back around get on that plane right back to America still do the apartment still does even though my daughter is here my grandmother god rest her soul she was here um, big part of me misses America big 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 and my goal is to is to return one day it is my goal um, always has been my goal Always will be my goal. Um, so yeah, that's <laughs> that's one of my. What else is there? Uh, food wise, um, as much as people in America can complain about cost of living and everything else, food is plentiful in the U.S. You cannot throw a stone without finding a Starbucks or a McDonald's, or a Wendy's, or an A&W, or a KFC, or a Taco Bell, or a Taco Time, or wherever. And um, here in the UK, because of the recession, businesses are shutting down. I can walk down my main street, and all you see is just boarded up businesses. With room, with, with space to let, to let, to let, to let, to let. And, um, scary it is scary it's a shame because uh there are quite a few um businesses that were here that i enjoyed going to that are no longer here it's a beautiful pizzeria down the street covid shut them down and they've not opened since which is a shame because they're uh they did a gluten free pizza which is kind of cool and they were very wary of cross-contamination. Mm. Honestly, everyone goes, oh, but yeah, Eng Eng England has the NHS. I'd rather have private healthcare. Um, would I pay to see my GP? No. Um, they're not worth it. I'm sorry, but no. If I could find a doctor that is actually worth premium, yeah. But, no disrespect to my doctor. But, he's the guy that put me on blood thinners and painkillers at the same time. Which you don't do. That will kill you. Um, so that should tell you something. Uh, the NHS still use... They, they, they've they've gone from paper to digital finally okay and when they did that not all of your records were transcribed from paper to digital the NHS has lost about 10 plus years of my life from surgeries to broken bones to my cancer treatments you name it I've had to have four or five witness statements made. 
my friends and family who went to the chemotherapy sessions with me because the nurses remember me, the doctor remembers me, but there's no paper trail. Now, because there's no paper trail, England loves its paper trail. Because there's no paper trail, I never went. Even though the doctor who gave me the chemotherapy remembers me, the nurses who remember me being at my chemotherapy remember me, my daughter remembers going with me, my, my, my daughter's mother remembers going with me, my mother remembers me having it, my brother remembers me having it. You know, it, it is what it is. So I don't take that into effect. In, 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 in. And what little healthcare I used while living in America, they sure as sugar uh, uh, went out of their way to make sure that I was comfortable, happy, good, had the right medications. So I've got to change the batteries out in my uh, remote for my Roku. So I can link my phone to it. There we go. So these need to be charged. And yeah. Getting back into doing streaming again and more content for YouTube and stuff like that. It's actually quite therapeutic. It's quite it's quite cathartic. Um So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do my uh, my daily walk here in a bit. Um, I just walk to my local little park, just down there, and walk around it a couple of times, just to get out of the house, you know. So yeah, I do that. Um, I also hang out with some friends in a place called Second Life. Uh, just hang out and uh, have fun there. Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, my 3D prints. Um, I've got to. One of the 3D printers has a box on top of it because it is damaged. I've got to figure out where the damage is, where its major malfunction is. I I, I think it's the leveling. I think it's the print bed itself. Uh, not the screen, the actual print bed that, that raises and lowers. I've got to figure out what's wrong with it. Um, and the other one is a cracked screen again. Uh, so, yeah, I've got to get a new screen for that. I'm also going to be ordering me a 8-inch uh, 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 4K printer as well for much larger prints. Oh. So, and that to me is just pure content the channel and more coffee times with cobra and i've got another video segment i need to record uh here in um got another segment i need to record for part two of the how to build your PC series. That's fun. To me, that is fun. And I mean that. I, I am having a blast doing that. And so, yeah, it's actually quite fun doing that. And. Whew. This video is going to be about uh, upgrade paths. Because uh, uh, I did talk about, in, in, in the previous video, I talked about the PC. So now I'm going to talk about webcams, uh, microphone, headsets, uh, and displays. That's part, that's part two. Um, then we're going to talk about... Um, See, part, see, part three is very um, unique to you. Uh, what I mean by that is um, if you are a content creator, then your, um, then your build is going to be uniquely specific to 
tailored to your needs. So if you're if you're a YouTube content creator and you, you're going to need editing software, you're going to need uh, things of that nature. So that's coming in in a different part. So part one is the actual PC that's done. Uh, so part two is going to be webcam and mic, uh, maybe headset as well. And then part three is going to be display, like what monitor to use, things of that nature. Um, the video series as a whole, I, I hope it. I, I hope people understand that I I'm doing it not because I just want the views. Don't get me wrong, the views will be fine. I'm doing the content because I want to see more content creators on the platform, Twitch, YouTube, wherever. Um, I want to see. I, I want to do. I want to do collaborations with other with other content creators. I want to do. Um, I want to make memories. That's 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 just the key thing. I want to make memories, and the only way that's going to happen is to just get out there and do. So there's that. <clears throat> DDG. Let me get back to the Dust David Games thing. Um two days ago I streamed for the first time in quite a while. And um I don't know why I did it. I just I just gotta flee up my butt about doing it. And so I I I I I actually did it. Uh I was like, you know what? Yeah let me let me just do it. So I did. And the future favors the bold. Um, he who dares wins. Insert whatever you want here. I'm going to say um, the good Lord provides. Um, he brought David into my life. He brought my friend into my life who is amazing. Who is cool as heck. Who has supported me throughout my journey who who showed me not to lose faith even when it I, I was burning the candle at both ends doing twitch and YouTube and, and everything else and 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 allowing my marriage to go to the wayside and that's I, I do blame that on me um, so guys if you've got a partner out there that loves and supports you Show them. Look, just, just show them. Just, just show them. Show them that you love them. Show them that they mean something to you. Just, just show them. Show them. Um, don't necessarily shower them with gifts. Shower them with love and affection. You know, put the, put, put the camera down. Put the phone down. You know, tell your viewers you'll be back in a couple of days. Take your partner. Go on a little vacation. Just no phones, no laptop, no computer, no nothing. Just you and them and room service. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. That's what I would do. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, David coming back and donating what he did. Oh, gosh. Um, David, thank you. Um, my phone bill's up to date, my rent is up to date, and I've got enough money in my account to buy groceries. So I don't have to worry about where my food's coming from. Um, so yeah. So that's, that's good. What else? Um... The Heroes and Generals 2, or, or Remake, or whatever they want to call it. Um, using Unreal Engine 5. Uh, Red Orchestra uses Unreal Engine. Uh, I love Red Orchestra. Red Orchestra is an amazing game. Um, but unlike other game companies, Red Orchestra doesn't have a cash up. Red Orchestra... Um, doesn't even have a single player. Red Orchestra is solely, specifically, and strictly a multiplayer World War Two survival, World War Two semi-realistic uh, 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 um, um, semi-realistic uh, shooter. 
and um, so I know what I, I know what the Unreal Engine can do. Um, some of my favourite games that I love playing like, use the Unreal Engine. Um, Days Gone, Unreal Engine. Um, oh Brian, love that game. That game's fucking. I really wanted there to be more to that game, like a, a an online section or, or like more to the story, especially when O'Brien shows him, takes his helmet off. That's all I need to say. No spoilers, but that game is awesome. A day's gone. If you can find it, get it. It's a really good game. Really good game. Um, Ethan, I think his name's Ethan. Um, he does the voice for. Um, Star Wars Force Unleashed as well. He's actually his face has been digitized, digitized several times. He's even appeared in The Walking Dead. That was kind of cool. It's kind of a shame that they didn't do a little, little mini episode explaining that soldier's fate. You know, like how did he end up in that tank? Because that's not a tanker. That's 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 a that's that's a marine. That's that's National Guard. That's not that's infantry, not tanker. So he probably tried to hide in the tank and starved to death and turned. So who knows? But um Yeah. What else? Um So my three D printers need some maintenance. I can do that. Laptop's working now. This is a laptop that was uh given to me uh before I left North Carolina. Um and I updated it, I put an SSD in it, I've put a brand new battery in it. Um, another RAM module, this has got 16 gigs of RAM, uh, 512 gigabyte SSD, uh, optical drive of course, it does work. Um, and it's so I can actually take things like driver disks and stuff and put them in here, turn it, you know, cut and paste it, put it, put it into a uh, executable, and then throw it on the network and then grab it and install the hardware on any of the machines around here. Uh, what else? Uh, LASIK. Um, I'm thinking about getting LASIK from my eyes. Uh, well, to see if I'm a candidate for it. And if I am, uh, it will. No more glasses. So that's, that's my goal. Because my right eye um, is giving me a bit more issues and a lot more pain. Um, I mean, I'm... Oh, health update about blood clots. That's another thing I didn't want to talk about. Um, got the uh, letter from well, the the the, the email and the and, and the letters on its way. But I got the email and the the the, the, the doctor up in Newcastle reached out to me. Well, my doctor reached out to me because he got the, he got the info first, and he told me that uh, from my dye tests that the tumors in my lungs have shrunk to the point where my body is just going to dissolve those. Um, one of the tumors near my heart has uh, moved and sh it shrunk it's it's own it's 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 it shrunk and, and moved that's what that pain was I, I had a couple of days ago that was it moving and causing my heart to go what the fuck is this what the fuck is this what the fuck is this you know um and the one in my brain is actually shrinking as well so yeah fingers crossed um it'll get to the point where the migraines stop and i'll be able to sleep uh fully bear in mind i went to bed at 5 a.m and it's 11 55 in the morning now so 5 6 7 8 10 11 so i've had six hours of sleep so wow wait 5 6 7 8, 9 10 11 yeah I've had, wow wow I've had, that's that's almost a good night's sleep for me um so yeah that's that is what it is my room is a pigsty so i've got to clean it so that's what i'm going to be doing here soon uh, my coffee's almost finished, by the way. So, yeah. Health updates, great. Um, yeah. So that's really good news. Uh, I want to know where they came from. You don't, your body just doesn't start producing... Y your body just does not start producing tumours. It just doesn't. Something caused that to happen. And I want to know what it was. Was it environmental? Was it internal? Was it external? I, uh, I want to know. I, I really want to know. Uh, so, yeah. I really want to know. Um, 
Yeah, my coffee's literally almost gone. Sucks. Uh, this is the downside of the coffee times of Cobra. Once the coffee's gone, the video's over. So, but uh, yeah, so health wise, I'm good. Um, back to streaming. Got my, my energy up to the point where I can stream again. Um, so that that is good. It's good news for me, anyway. <laughs> good news for me. Um, yeah. <laughs> so. Where can I, where can I go from here? Um, oh, trips. I've got a trip to Poland and a trip to the Netherlands planned. Uh, probably sometime in the summer. Um, so of course that'll be fun. Um, spend the weekend in Poland. Don't speak a word of Polish. Except for Suka. Mass Russian. Kulva. <laughs> and then um, the Netherlands. But like I said, that's planned later on in the year. Um, oh, Chinese spy balloon or whatever it is that, that people are saying. It's, it's, guys, no one knows what it is. Stop, stop jumping to speculations. Stop jumping to things that it may not even be. Um, just <laughs> seriously, guys, stop jumping to conclusions. Okay, I mean that. Just, just stop, stop jumping to conclusions. It might not be what you think it is. Okay, so who knows? Uh, the Chinese fighter jet, um, doing a flyby on an American, I think it was an American plane. Um, again, chest beating. Could be a whole bunch of nothing, could be, excuse me, who knows? It could be a whole bunch of nothing. No one knows. Um, I was asked about the challenges, the Abrams and the Leopards going to the Ukraine. Um, I am not pro-war, I'm pro-peace. Whether that be negotiations, whether that be decimation whatever that is um, I want bandages to be sent not bombs I want negotiators to be sent not rockets I want peace not war I am a warrior I'd rather be a warrior in a garden than a gardener on a battlefield. <laughs> so no, I'm not pro-Russia, I'm not pro-Putin, I am not pro-Ukraine, I'm not pro-Zelensky. I'm pro-peace. Let me make that abundantly clear. I'm pro-peace. Just want peace. I have a daughter, I have a vested interest in this planet's existence, my daughter being one of them. Her children, should she choose to have them, being another one. I also have friends in, in the Ukraine, and of course I pray for their safety and I pray that people come to their senses and peace does prevail because the world needs peace. We don't need war, we need peace. We need to come together as a species, not chest beating, brow beating and pulling each other apart. Okay, we need to come together, guys. So, peace and love, love and respect. And, uh, yeah. Well, sadly, the coffee's gone. That means the convo's over. So I'm going to leave you with some little words of wisdom. I believe in you. Yes, I believe in you. Whether you don't believe it yourself. Whether you don't believe in yourself. 
of you don't believe at all. But I believe in you. Now go out there, smash it like I know you're gonna. Make this day the first of many and make this day yours. So go out there and make whatever deity you believe in proud of you. Go out there and whatever you believe in, make them proud of you. Make your elders and your ancestors proud of you. And last but not least, <laughs> make your damn self proud of you.